kids to do, um, to do a bridge kickover. Um, because it is actually a pretty hard skill and it's a pretty advanced skill. It's actually harder than a back handspring to do a full back bend bridge kickover um, because it's all slow and it takes a lot of strength. And so you've got to make sure your kid is strong enough to do a bridge kickover before you have them do it. So what I always have them do first is sit down, lay down. Do a bridge. Good, now come back up. Now go back up. They have to be able to do this like five or five to ten times before I would let them do any sort of bridge kicking over. They have to be able to go up and down. It's like bridge push-ups. Because um, then I know she's strong enough to kick over. Okay? <laughs> um, and so, so that's the first step is making sure they're strong enough to do it. Then what you do is so stand up. Oops. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Big bridge. Then it's a very, the next step would be to do your bridge and lift one foot up. Now lift the other foot up, so switch feet. And practice and going back and forth like this and see if they can do like eight of them in a row would be really cool. And then they can actually start to do little jumps. Well, not quite like that. They can go one foot up, now switch feet. There you go. So, jump, jump down real quick. So what I would have them do is they can do one foot up, other foot up, and just kind of go back and forth. Um, and then you can have them hold one foot up and do little jumps. Now, it's very important because once they start to jump or do anything like that, there's going to be a lot more weight on their hands. And with the way their arms are, because they're, sit, sit up real quick, because their arms are way back here, with there's a lot of weight on them, it's putting a lot of pressure on their shoulders. And so it's really important to make sure you're trying to take as much of that off of them as you can, because the second they put a lot of weight on it, if they bend their arms, so bend your arms, that's a, that could be a dislocated shoulder pretty easily. Um, because of, so it's really important that we are fully spotting this skill because it's a it's a one that I've actually seen little kids do and dislocate their shoulders and it's really not cool. So oh yeah, get back down. So you're gonna go bridge. Usually when I spot the bridge kick over I'm underneath them like this or I hold them like this. So okay so then I usually go one foot up and I actually am spotting them right here and over. And I try and come around and hover at the end too. So but the most important part is getting them up to that handstand and then over, because if you don't get them to there, it's all, we're all in trouble. So try that again, do a bridge. Watch again, and I'm going to have you guys spot some of these too, just to make sure. So you want to be underneath here. It's not like this is the strongest position to be in. If you're a little bit stronger, like me, sometimes I go underneath the head, but this is a really hard spot, um, and it's only for good kids. So when they first start doing it, is it's this, and you want to help them feel their, their shoulders open too, so you can use your elbow to kind of push them back. And then you're going to lift them up. So I have pretty much all her weight. And so she, there's not a whole lot of pressure on her arms right there. So that way she's not, that way if she were to bend, she's not going to land on her head, hurt her shoulder, hurt her elbow, anything like that. Okay, try that again. So that's one way. Another way would be to be on the front side of her. But this, I, I actually, every time I reach like that, I'm like, no, no, don't do that. Because this is going to put a lot of pressure on her lower back. So I would hold here. But I have seen people do this, but now that I'm, even thinking about doing this, I'm like, ooh, that's going to hurt her back. Um, because I'm not, because this way I can help with this part too, with her legs. All right, jump down. All right. Why don't you guys give some? Oh.